Yeah, but else. for how many? That's also another thing, though. For like how many like millions, thousands of views, are people actually like? All right, I'm gonna do that. That would like make me well. feel. Like, that would make me feel like shit, though, if someone come up to me with a camera in my face and gave me. a Oh no, shit! And it's like well, I'm already so down. I'm sleeping in the street. Yeah, like and I'm, you've got a camera I'm down in my bad. face. Yeah. Guys, welcome to Morikai with two eyes. We are going to be... <laughs> oh, that was clean. <laughs> no, we oh, need to... That was clean. I like that. Yeah. Very professional. No, we need to start it off right because you're 100% right. You um, you said one of our listeners, they um, they mentioned that sometimes the podcast will end cr- like at a Just crazy abruptly. time and also start <laughs> yeah. abruptly. That's because... That's how we do it here. Yeah. <laughs> and if you want the real reason, sometimes we talk absolute nonsense. Yeah, there's a lot... Before, before that intro, There's there's a lot of just... Meditating, yeah. humming, so we're just really getting into the relaxed mode, and the some, zen mode. And sometimes we start it up and it's like, oh, we've started. We'll just keep going. Yeah. And then, and then when we're I just go, gassing. And Whoa. Then, yeah. And then when I go back to edit, I'm like, oh, Jesus Christ, how am I going to start, <laughs> start this video? <laughs> so some of them start. like so, They're ridiculous the way they start, but no, nah, I wouldn't have it any other way, to be honest. It's It's been fun. But We're changing it up as we go, and yeah. that's what it's all about. We're learning. We're getting the brand out there. So yeah. it's, we are. Uh, it's We're pushing it hard. It's been awesome. It has been. Now, I was going to ask you about this. Um, do you remember watching prank videos when we were about year seven? So maybe 2013, Whoa, we're 2012. going back to so a deep dive in here. Prank versus prank. Prank versus prank was such a big challenge. I recall you like t- telling me quite a lot about them, and yeah, yeah. I, I love that. And then there was because there was prank versus prank, and then there was like another couple as well that did it, wasn't mm-hmm. there? Because prank versus prank well. was a younger a younger couple who were married and they were pulling pranks on each other that were real. By the way, oh, I like scripted. how you, I like how you said that. There. Not fake, yes, like because they are today. Try finding a real prank today that's not set up. Man, it's like virtually, virtually impossible. Is it actually impossible? Like it's all staged, or someone's a paid actor, or it's someone's cousin's so daughter. Many paid like it's just ridiculous. It's so bad. Way too many paid actors. It makes it really. I think because there's so many out there that uh, I, I've mentioned this before. The ones I hate the most are the ones that are out in your local streets. We'll just say out in Melbourne. And they're interviewing some random person, and usually it's a girl with massive boobs, right? Nine times out of ten. Nine times the out perfect of ten. Smile. Yeah, perfect smile. It's one of their friends they've brought in. What's a guy's name you would hate? Mm. Ethan. Oh, and then it's like, oh, I've got a mate called Ethan. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna send it to him. And then next thing you know, the TikTok goes viral. It's like, oh, oh, well, the worst. Doesn't one deserve it. Like, <laughs> if I guess what your name starts with, I get to kiss you. I'm just like. That's kind of fucked up. Like, <laughs> so I'm being completely. Can you imagine that? Like, the guy, the guy comes on. It's like, kiss my name. It's like Jonathan. It's like, oh, oh no. <laughs> like, and I, I it's see as well. Ridiculous, man. I see as well that oh, I find it weird. I saw one today, to be honest. So oh, wow. pranks are becoming. <laughs> no, no, no. Just no, like, no. Yeah. I, I saw one today, to be honest. Where there's in America, it's happening a lot. Where something's changed where kids are so confident to now, I don't know, make a video in Walmart with some stranger and just talk absolute nonsense or throw something at them and run away. All these little pranks that are, some are shocking. Some are just- I must admit, I used to love the original, like this is going back when it was quite original to do. Mm. People like just connecting their phones to the Bluetooth speakers and just playing like that sex noise. That, like, would always, like, yeah. yeah, that's a good one. And yeah. just like walk on. Like, you just like walk off and be like, who's done that? See, that's a good one. Like, that to me is like funny. The ones I'm seeing at the moment is where they'll go down a hardware store and put a bucket on another guy's head while they put a bucket on their own and pretend, oh, who's... Who did that? Yeah, oh, and, I've seen it's so cringe. And the one I saw today was like the guy turned around and swung at him and connected. And then they got into a fight. See, it's like, uh, hold on, you you need to take the punch because you started that interaction. Yeah, and he, it needs to look real. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now that we know what's gonna be fake, right, that, that, that was a good that was a good punch. Can I pay you for that? Yeah. <laughs> the worst ones as well, um, that I've I've noticed is it, it, Usually the stupid titles is like, oh my God, my sister kissed me. I mean, like that you said that again. What's that one? <laughs> oh, mate. It's seriously, it was Do you mean the, like stepsister? Like, yeah, like yeah. the whole, like, no, but like, you know what I mean? No, because yeah. I think like Keemstar was like reporting it. Or oh, something okay. Shit. I know. It was, like, the, one of those ones. So I know. that J station. Okay. Dude. I, sorry. Now I know the specific one you're talking about. Because when you said, that but he before. kept on like doing it, and it's like, yeah. dude, how many stepsisters do you have? So what? So what Lee means like, is there was this one guy where he made a video that was specifically because 
this isn't a common one, this one. This guy actually said, oh, kissing my sister prank. And it was his actual sister. And then the next one was kissing my mum prank. And it was an actual... And it just kind of kept going. And it was an actual kiss too. <laughs> like it was, a, it was a proper kiss. And then when you did some more digging, it was it was his actual parents. <laughs> yeah, it's just like, how much is he paying you? <laughs> what, what's the... What's the view? Like how much do you get paid for one I of them? I have no idea. But what even makes you... What thought process do you yeah. have to be like, this video is going to bang? Yeah. <laughs> But I, like, I, I need, but I need to say that one isn't a common one because yeah. Yeah, that one that was the one guy. It's not, but then there's a J Station guy who's always like, "Oh my God, Juice World just passed away. Let's oh, see what he's him. saying from the grave." And yeah. it's just like, "Bro, what are you doing? Those, like, what are you actually doing?" That's Same as, so disrespectful. And you know where I'm going next with this. You're yeah. looking deep into my eyes. It's the same always. as. Fucking rug, fucking face rug. I am calling him out on the podcast. He won't ever see this. Well, it doesn't even what, care. The hidden about. treasure stuff. Oh, mate, the worst. Oh my god, I can't believe we found a nuclear bomb in my backyard. It's yeah. like, bro, you clearly dug that like <laughs> an hour before you did. Like, it's all. Oh, it's a. I don't know how. Credit to him. It clearly it's worked. Yep, it's bloody worked. Like, mate, I wouldn't mind just something oh. where the video started off with. You know how uh, now. When someone does a paid promotion in a video, whether it be YouTube or TikTok, it has to say paid promotion. Yeah. This is a paid promotion, so people know they're promoting it. I wish they did the same with scripted videos. I, I would love it if it's just right like, at the start. Yeah, just, hey just, guys, this is a scripted video. And then go into it. And then I would have no problem at all because you, <laughs> you're being real with people. But fuck me, the stuff where giving the homeless money. What's your thoughts on that one? See, I the thing, the issue that I have with that is because I feel like let's say 90% of people, even like walking around in Melbourne, like in the CBD there, uh, quite a few homeless and all that. I'm sure you've every now and then maybe a fiver or whatever. Uh, but like, bro, you, I do, you don't need to record you doing it. Yeah. And and the, the other thing as well, and I'm not saying that this is for every homeless video, giving money to the homeless and all that. I'm sure there's quite a, maybe not a large amount, maybe a small amount, but I'm sure they're the homeless people. It's like, it's just like, oh, Luke, can I just get you to like sit in this gutter for me and all that, and then like it's gonna look like. I reckon, yeah, I reckon like, there's I, YouTubers I, like, that have I done don't, that. Like, I think there is ones that have definitely done that, and then there's also ones that I think are genuine. But the genuine ones almost feel fake because this they're so genuine. over the top. And yeah. it's like, look what I'm doing. Yeah. Did you get that on camera? Bro, you Did are. You get that on camera. Which, Man, look at me. I'm taking him to Macca's. <laughs> He's getting a cheesy. It's like. Bro, you can do that without the fucking camera. Like, what are you doing? And you, and you know for a fact they went and what? looked for the most homeless person they could find. And what I mean by that is scruffy hair, just really, really shouting homeless in a way. Do you, do you know what I mean? Yeah. They're going, and I guarantee they didn't, wouldn't go for any of the crazy ones. Because oh, I'm, I'm not going to sit here and act like some of them aren't fucking insane. Yeah, no, so I've, I've walked the streets agreed. of Melbourne. Oh, mate, some, it's a, some want, it's some, a dark place. <laughs> some want to kill you. It's a dark place. But they would have. They would have. I honestly reckon scouted the, oh, I don't know if you can call him a victim, but scouted <laughs> the homeless to get the right one for the right video. And the same with the, oh, okay, it, this is hard, right? Because I look at that and let's not bullshit. Let's not twist it. Plain and simple. They're doing it for views. The views they will make oh. on that video, I guarantee they will triple their profit from whatever they've given that homeless person. Yeah, and they won't give the, the homeless person like what they've made. Yeah. They give from, like really, if I, for example, was to do a video like that, I'd be like, all right, whatever like profits come in from this video or whatever it is, like I'll try to donate to yeah, your like, charity give it to choice. like a charity or like yeah. get, try to like put them on like the right path. Yeah. It's and more or less like there's, maybe buy them like a tan or like sleeping, like that yeah. sort of thing. Because I've always, that, like, them. I've always been... Oh, the way I've always been told to do is if you're going to give anything to the homeless, give them either food or warmth. Don't give them money. Yeah, I've heard I've heard that exact same thing. Because most of the time they'll take that, and I'm not saying all, I'm just saying most of the time they'll take that money and spend it on grog or spend it on something they shouldn't, okay? So one thing I've always been told, hey, take them into a 7-Eleven, take I've, them into a Woolies and just get them to pick out some stuff and you can buy it just, for them. Just quickly on touching on that, I know that we're not, we won't say on that. Have you ever offered to get a homeless person like say like a coffee or like 
maybe a hash brown, like whatever it is. And they've ref- no, but they've refused. Like, no, I just want money. Like, not a chance. I've heard that. Yeah, yeah well, I've, 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 that. I think I've had that happen to me like once. Yeah, I'm just like, no, like, <laughs> I'm yeah. happy to help you out, but like, and then it's almost like they're demanding it. And it's like, mate, like, not a chance. Mm. Yeah, like, some of them can be a bit aggressive, and it's just. Yeah, I don't spend too much time in the city at all. But yeah. when I did, any people that were homeless were re- like fighting with each other, drinking, causing a scene. Could be anything. Um, and th- I, what was I was going to say before is the only, and this is the only benefit I can think of. There's only one, right? By doing all these videos and people seeing that they're giving to the homeless, yes, it is disingenuine. It's not... Like, I see that there could be kids watching and then for some reason they see that, they think it's cool to give um, money to either the homeless or a charity. That's the only benefit I could see. Like, mm. oh, that video is heartwarming. That's so cool. I'm gonna uh, Next time I'm out on the street, if I see yeah, someone well, homeless, I'm going to buy them a sandwich. Yeah. That's the only benefit. I can't, I can't see anything Yeah, but else. for how many – that's also another thing though. For like how many like millions, thousands of views are people actually like, all right, I'm going to do that. That would like make me well. feel. Like, that would make me feel like shit, though, if someone come up to me with a camera in my face and gave me. a Oh no, shit! And it's like well, I'm already so down. I'm sleeping in the street. Yeah, like and I'm, you've got a camera I'm down in my bad. face. Yeah, like yeah, I. I know it's the same though as like all those pranks in America that you hear about. Like even like uh, what, what what did we used to do here? Like in a like ding dong ditch. Oh, like the, I don't know. Like did you ever do that? Like, yeah, yeah. Like, knock on the door and like you're man. I wouldn't. I just straight up. I don't think I would be doing pranks in America, man. The amount of like oh, hostile no. people. Like you're on their property and it's just gone to the front door, bro. Not a. Ch- I am not, not rich. It is not worth my life to yep. play one stupid fucking. Pr- I'm sorry. It's not. I and mean, you see the reports of like some like kid got shot, some teenager got shot purely because they picked the wrong house to. It's like and it's like wow. It's like when someone um, swatting was a big thing. I'd oh, that to, was. I would love to talk about that next. Um, that was so fucked. We'll, we'll jump into that one after this. But swatting is when, and it's mainly in Probably America. We should explain it. Yeah, for yeah. The, for it, it is viewers. in it is in America mostly. So Twitch streamers, you would see people who are streaming on YouTube. It can be. It's mostly gamers because um, it's mostly incels that do cause the swatting. What they'll do is they'll find the IP address of uh, that person's internet, then find their um, home address. Once they've got the home address, they'll then call their local police station and say something absurd, like um, uh, this guy, they'll find out their name. John is is killing his wife right now. He's just murdered his son and he's currently stabbing his wife. Just ridiculous, like absurd stuff that police cannot ignore. They can't. They yeah, so actually, straight actually away can't. it's an emergency, obviously. Yeah, the SWAT team's full coming in, breaking the door down. All that. You'll see it. The streamer, it could be legitimately like you and I, we're sitting like this and then all of a sudden you hear like, get on the ground! And it's like, what is go- like, yeah. what the fuck is going on? And the police will take you outside, they'll check Question everything's you, okay. Like, yeah, search the whole house. And the big... <laughs> so, in this situation, the big gotcha moment was... That guy somehow saw you, just cops come into your room and you leave your room. So it's t- 10 seconds where cops have come in the room and you're now not streaming, right? The There's been moments where people have been killed because they've either bought, a gu- mainly in America, they've brought a gun to the door or they don't know what's going on so they don't react as they should because how would you react if you just hear police banging on your door, screaming? You don't know who it is Like at the start. You're in shock. And one guy swatted um, someone on Call of Duty and he got him killed. Mm. Got him actually killed. So he was a father and everything. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, that's how, like, it's it's fucked. It's seriously fucked mm. and all that. And then, like, little Timmy's like, oh, that's funny as. And, like, I little don't Timmy get doesn't it's get. Funny. It's not funny, man. It's, a wa- it's seriously a waste of resources. But, oh. The amount of cost that it costs the police. And they, they're wasting their time coming out to something that's not even happening. But you've made the situation, like, too far. Yeah, now, now now they've maybe missed out on like someone that's been like held at gunpoint or you know like someone that's in a fatal car crash. Like that's what I mean, man. Like it's such a waste of fucking human resources, but people think it's hilarious, and it's not okay. I don't. You you have to be the biggest possible incel to think it's somehow funny. I think it's more they're dark. They spend their entire time in their room. They're really messed up in the head because this. I guess prank you call it. 
if you do this and you get caught, it is 20 plus years in, in jail. Yep, that's correct. That's, I'm going off one of the last videos I saw where this happened, so that's where I'm coming from. He got 20 years. So uh, if this prank gets pulled off and you don't get caught, all you've done is watch a streamer just put his hands on his head and get away from stream and the stream's ended. That's it. And that stream will probably get more popular because that clip will well, go around. Yeah, because that clip... Uh, that clip, sorry, will get shared around it. It will be trending on Twitter, it's depending on who the streamer is as well. Yeah. So I don't understand um, in it's any just way. It's stupid. fucking worth it. It's and it, oh, it also doesn't happen here. Yeah, I don't. Not that it, yeah, well, compared to yeah. America. Oh, no, compared to America. I don't. Uh, as far as I'm aware, I don't think it's that. I could be completely I, wrong. I haven't seen it happen. Well, compared to America, very, very little. There's a guy watching a podcast where he got to a point where every time he moved, he went to his local police station. He said, hey, I'm Mr. Such and Such. I'm just letting you know, this is what I do for a career. I do have people attacking me every day. They're going to say outlandish stuff. This is my address. All I'm asking is if you do get a crazy call regarding my address and my name, can you please just call my number, check in, and just send two police officers over? That's all I'm asking because I know for a fact, as you said, wasted resources there's nothing wrong, and I've dealt with this so long. And it was hard for him at the start because so many police officers did not understand streaming in in any. Sort yeah, well, of they way. wouldn't. They wouldn't. And like, now, getting more modern, all their kids are doing it. It's everywhere, so they're more used to it. So, yeah, he never gets. He gets. Um, I guess but how, technically swatted all the time, but he doesn't. They actually don't come to his house. They just give him a call. They go, "Hey, Mrs. Such and Such, just got a call that you're murdering your wife. Just checking you not." And he'll laugh and go, "No, no, no, I'm just." I'm just with her now, honey. And then he'll call her and then she'll be like, yeah, yeah, no, I'm still alive. And I'll ima- laugh. So. Could, could, could you imagine though, like, let's flip the script just real quick on that. I was like, hey, you're killing your wife. It's like, oh, no, no, no. Like, oh, there's no, the there's no, setup. there's no way. Like, <laughs> I'm a streamer yeah, like, and I have people swap me all the time. Yeah, like, just just setting like, up the, <laughs> the swindler. But again, not on. Yeah. Like, we cannot stress that enough. It's just not on. Like, I don't care. I know that's a real prank, but, like, it's a fucking shit one. It is a fucking shit one. <laughs> so, I know I'm swearing no, no, a lot no, here. No, no, I like, love it. One thing I just want to say, because when I'm editing, I love it. Um, there's times where Lee loves quotation marks, but on the audio only, no one I forget knows that. I do forget that. It's <laughs> such a... <laughs> so when I'm, when I'm like I'm, a cheery man. It's a bad habit. So, when I'm editing, if any of you guys hear Lee go this way like kind of that voice go up and down he's also doing quotation marks <laughs> <laughs> so, just, so, so, just bear with me he's everyone. not having a stroke <laughs> i don't know <laughs> just watch i don't video. know um but yeah so uh, what about aussies like fake pranks as such we don't really see americans have as somehow as got sort of more americans, ballsy in the way of not they just have no fuck they don't give a fuck they're getting raised like that too so kids are going out and almost doing definitely it well, I There's, suppose when it's forced on your TikTok, your for you pages, and all that, because I would say in in Oz we don't get that much. Not 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 really public pranks. I feel like it's more the old. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna prank call someone. Which, let's be honest, sir, <laughs> I think someone was quite good at doing that. No, I don't think we need to scratch too much on it. I'm sure it's maybe maybe, not, but <laughs> you, you were pretty good at the craft. Oh, I dare yeah. say so myself. Just real quick, if anyone wanted to know, I had a YouTube channel when I was... <laughs> the plug. 16, was it? Yeah, you were, yeah, 16, 17. Yeah, I named it Luke Prank Calls, and throughout high school, I prank called people, and not many people were doing it. I pretty much... I saw a Max Mofo video where he did prank calls, loved it, so I imitated what he did with my own spin on it, my own ideas, and I just put video games in the background. So no one did that at all. Um, blew up on a few things, which was fun. And then slowly tried to do, I think I could have gotten a bit, I could have got big if I stuck to it, but I wanted to do my own thing as well and play like UFC gameplay walkthroughs, like Most stuff definitely. I enjoyed. Yeah. And I, if I was, if I had my own place at the time, it would have been great because I was doing this all behind my parents' back. And to get a space in time when they're not home to bang out a prank call is fucking I hard. I think it was ridiculous. How many times do you think we went to like, say like the primary school it was nearby, and it's like the laptop, the microphone, <laughs> have to like hotspot the laptop. I'm there sitting with you as you're doing the prank call. I'm pissing myself off, and you're like, shut up, shut up. Like, sort of thing. <laughs> like, it was, it was, 
such a great period like of time. But then even all the comments, man, were like, oh, this goes in Max Mofo copy. And it's like, yeah, you've got a few. Mate, of them. like, <sighs> well, you're going to get it with everything. No, That's, you are. But it's, it's just so yeah. frustrating, though, because especially with the fact that you like had your own twist on But you were, mate, again, mm. great at it. And even prank calls, though, man, I don't. Do they even still exist? Not really. Because is it because of like the whole like you can do the no call ID, but pretty much everyone always has like the ID. So it's like, mate, like, yeah, I know that you just called me. Like your number's like right there. I don't know. I think like, it died off a bit. I think there's just too many pranks that are. I suppose way it helped having Skype in that yeah. sense as well because Skype was heavily heavily used well, for that. Yeah. Well, no one really did it too much, so that's where it was kind of so. ahead of the game. But look, it was fun, and then the the the. The night my parents found out when that was that was terrible. <laughs> that was not good. <laughs> I never knew that. Yeah, I did not tell you. Oh. They never knew. And then during the divorce, while they were still in the same house, I showed my mum. I she mentioned something. I think I had another family member, maybe my cousin mentioned it, and she brought it up and I was like, Oh, fine. And my dumb ass showed her. I don't know why I showed her. <laughs> and she went and she just was fucking furious and she's like you are now banned from all internet gaming and Oof. this, that. But then she moved out the next week. So I was... You know, Just back on the grind. Back on the grind. <laughs> <laughs> That's and, so bad. Uh, and I, Dad was in a, in a space where... Um, he just wanted you happy, mate. He just he just wanted us kids to be around. So he, oh, he just so, you, so you make it so he let, us, he let us do whatever I want. But I didn't feel comfortable doing the prank calls. Why he you're was actually there. your old man actually sat in on the prank calls. He's like, <laughs> yeah, no, nah, you should um, yeah, you should go to the shops. I'm, I'm right behind you. I'm right behind you, Dylan. I'm here because you know that's just your old man. Like, oh yeah. Him, yeah, and um, right, that's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and there was got some milk jugs. <laughs> there was one time where um. Uh, Someone knocked on the door and walked off, and it would have just been a door to door a door to door salesman, and he thought it was like an old subscriber trying to like get me, and I and I had to explain to him I'm like that's fucking stupid. But <laughs> anyway, we'll go on to the next one. But um, yeah, fake prank, fake pranks, swatting, giving money to the homeless, and just old YouTube times. Yeah. As per usual, guys if, and girls, if you did enjoy the podcast, be sure to leave a like. Make sure you're rating it five stars on. Spotify, we're seeing the feedback and uh, it seems like everyone's enjoying it. So uh, keep on sharing the love. Share it around with your friends and family. And uh, as per usual, we will speak to you all in the next one. That's Morikai with two eyes. Boom. Boom.